Hello and welcome. This is Bobby at the Paper Jungle and I am back with number nine uh, project in the Challenge to Self. This is another small project. Uh, this one will cost a little bit more to mail than the others because I put this little wreath on there so it bulked it up a little bit. But uh, you don't necessarily have to put that on there. I just thought it was really cute. And I used a um, Tim Holtz die. Let me show you what I used. I used this Merry Christmas. This is a really old Sizzix die by Tim Holt. And um, I put the Mary on a real tiny little thin strip of acetate and then I hot glued it to the front of the wreath. Now the wreath is store bought. I don't know where I got it. It came in a package of I think six and they came in green or natural and I bought both um, and I've had them for quite a while. But I just thought it was really cute there. So it ties with a small piece of baker's twine. I just had this green and red in my stash and I just ran two strands of each color around it and tied it. Uh, now on the front I put the Christmas from the same die set and then I have a little pocket in here and it has some of the cut aparts from the collection. This is the Twas the Night Before Christmas by Graphic 45. And I just had the, I think I had the 8x8 collection, I believe. It was not a large package. And it is, of course, from Country Craft Creations. And then this is the Fern Glimmer Paper from My Colors at Country Craft Creations. Just a simple photo mat. Those go back in the pocket. And then the Rick Rack also came from Country Craft Creations, and I just colored it with um, bundled sage. I just uh, took my bone folder and laid the um, Rick Rack across the top and just pressed with the bone folder. And then I spritzed it with a little water to make sure the color was um, saturated all the way through and just let it air dry and glued it on the top of the pocket. On the inside we have another pocket and I used an old die for my stash that says joy and some greenery and I tied a little bow there and I have another photo mat with two more cut aparts in there. Now you could journal on the back of these or add smaller photos and I just put them on some neutral artisan paper. I think it's um, I think it's called natural. I'm not sure. It's kind of a creamy color. It's not a true white but it's real pretty. And then on this side we have a photo mat and I took one of the cut aparts like this and I just cut the greenery out and put it in the corners. And then this is a pocket with two photo mats and I just used the same ribbon to make my little tabs. And I left them plain on the back so you could journal or put photos back there. Either one. Go right back in the pocket. And there's room for more than two in here. I ruffled up my ribbon. Don't want to do that. And then on the back, I just left it plain, but you could actually, you could put something there if you wanted. You could put a pocket, put a gift card in there, whatever you might want to do. So this is so super simple to make. Just super simple. And I'll show you real quickly what I did. Let me get my scoreboard out here. Put these dies back out of the way. This one too. I don't have a lot of space to work in so I have to keep putting stuff up. So all you need is two pieces of cardstock. The first piece is, oh uh, let me see I wrote it down here, four and three quarters by five and a quarter. And you're just simply going to score it, here it is, four and three quarters by five and a quarter. And you're going to score it at four and a quarter and then just move over one little score line which is an eighth and score it again. That gives you a little bit of a fold over so when you put this together it doesn't buckle on you. The only reason mine kind of pooches out is because I put this ribbon on the inside and it took up some bulk. And then the second piece you need is 
four and a quarter by eleven. And we're going to, oh, that needs to be trimmed up. I didn't do a very good job on that. This is just old cheapy cardstock, so I'm not worried about it. I'm not going to use it anyway. I just cut it for the purpose of the video. So this one is 11 by 4 and a quarter, and you're going to score it at a half. Burnish down your half. Line it up in your scoreboard, and then bring this down to match. And burnish it again. So that's going to make your little pocket. Now you will take your art glitter glue and you'll attach glue here and put it right on the inside what did I do with my glue? oh here it is let me put this mat back on there so I've got a flat surface so you add your glue to this little flap just to the score line that's closest to the edge, not your second one. And we're just going to put it in here like this. We want it to be free of the edge. And let me do it like this, that might be easier. Line it up where I can see what I'm doing. here and then you'll fold this one up and you notice I angled the corners it just makes it easier to put together and so it doesn't buckle and then you'll add glue to this tab and you'll fold it down and burnish it closed and before you glue this down, you want to, if you want a uh, notch in here, actually, you can do it even afterwards. You get this glue to stick here. I didn't do a very good job cutting this. Let me find a real quick punch. Uh, here's one. might be able to get this in there. It's a pretty thick punch. I should have done it before. I, there, it's going in. And just make a little notch. Boing. And there you go. There's your pocket. And there's your front. And all I did was add a pocket here and a pocket here. And then I just decorated it. And so you could use any collection. It doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas. And then once you build up bulk, you've got that second score line there that will allow you uh, some extra, see it hangs over just a little bit. So once you um, utilize that extra score line, then it'll still be perfect. So there you go. That's how you put that one together. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving tomorrow. Bye-bye.